In this part, we are going to show you how to install the GPU water block. Take the graphics card and place it on an even surface. All heat sink assembly screws should be removed, including the self-adhesive washers on both sides of the PCB, if present. Since different cards have different number of screws, we decided to skip that part. After you remove all heat sink screws, remove the graphics card cooler and detach the cooler cables. Remove the stock thermal pads. Wipe off the remains of the original thermal compound by using a non-abrasive cloth or Q-tip. Your GPU water block comes with thermal pads, some of which are already pre-cut. Others have to be cut to smaller chunks in order to cover all VRM components. Please remove the protective foil from both sides of the thermal pads prior to installation of the water block. Please refer to the installation manual when applying the thermal pads. Apply enclosed thermal grease on the GPU chip. We recommend you apply it in cross form for the best performance. Carefully position the water block onto the graphics card. During the process, you'll have to align the mounting holes on the PCB with the holes on the water block. Also, pay attention not to use too much force by pressing the block down to PCB. Turn the graphics card and the placed block with the back side facing up. Use a Phillips screwdriver, screw 8 M2 by 5 spring screws with Teflon washers and 2 M2.5 AX1 screws. We recommend you to start tightening the screws around the GPU core and continue outwards. Now take the endorsed backplate and place it on the graphics card as shown. Use the Phillips screwdriver and screw the enclosed M2.5 AX1 screws to mount the backplate onto the graphics card. The installation of the GPU water block is now complete.